So Elon Musk has tweeted yet again for Dogecoin and the price of Doge just went past the 27 cents mark and it is expected that Doge will soon hit the 50 cents mark in the coming days. In this video, I'll talk about Musk's views on Dogecoin while analyzing Dogecoin's price. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we move forward, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. This will make sure that you never miss our time-sensitive updates. Now, let's get started with today's video. Now before coming to Elon Musk's recent tweet, let's take a peek into the price analysis of Dogecoin. So Doge is currently trading over 27 cents as it gained almost 5% from the 26 cents mark. And according to Dogecoin's daily chart, its price is now defending the critical 200 daily moving average near 27 cents as we witnessed a surge from 26 cents. And as long as the relative strength index continues above the midline, the surge appears to be steady and could represent an ideal opportunity for Doge bulls to buy on dips. And if the bulls recover control, Doge price might restart its multi-month highs above 35 cents, with the pattern target of 44 cents serving as the next upside resistance mark for bulls. On the other hand, analysts believe that Doge can go past the 50 cents level in the coming weeks since Dogecoin's current price behavior is typical following a huge rise where Doge went past the 35 cents level and with this recent candlestick closing above the cloud, Dogecoin is poised to make a run at 50 cents. Doge current price suggests that Dogecoin has a large support structure between 27 cents and 28 cents, which is likely to withstand any short selling pressure in the near term and analysts believe that Dogecoin's next move upward will be to target the 50 cents mark. Now coming to Elon Musk's tweet, we know that Musk announced earlier this week his desire to establish a university in Texas called the Texas Institute of Technology and Science. And in a threaded reply to the main tweet, Musk stated that the tuition cost of the university will be taken in Dogecoin and further added that dog owners would receive a discount. As a result, Doge subsequently retreated and is expected to consolidate its gains. Just seconds before Musk's tweet Doge was trading around 26 cents and it immediately reacted and surged to 27 cents about that moment. Besides, Shiba Inu also recorded a slight jump a few hours after Musk's tweet. It is now trading just over $0.000072, gaining 12.8% from its previous price of $0.00006. Moreover, Elon Musk tweeted another post related to cryptos, and Mark Cuban also shared his thoughts on crypto in a recent interview, but I will come back to it in the latter part of this video. Meanwhile, the petition to ask Robinhood to add Shiba Inu to its trading platform has just crossed 450,000 signatures. Notably, if the petition receives 500,000 signatures, it will become one of the most popular petitions on Change.org. It appears that Shiba Inu supporters are using the petition to urge that Robinhood should offer Shiba Inu for trading and they believe that Robinhood can replicate its success with Dogecoin by offering Shiba Inu as well, given both are popular coins. And as per the latest reports, the United States now has the highest number of Bitcoin ATM in the world, and a new agreement could soon result in the addition of thousands more. So it has been reported that crypto company Bitcoin Latinum recently announced a three-year partnership with OSO ATMs to build Bitcoin ATM across the United States. According to a press release from Bitcoin Latinum, as part of the cooperation, OSO ATM will assist Bitcoin Latinum in establishing 100,000 ATM throughout the United States, where users can simply purchase crypto using their fiat currency. Meanwhile, Canada comes in second place when it comes to the number of Bitcoin ATM in each country. Nonetheless, the disparity is significant since Canada has only 2,033 ATM compared to the United States 26,414. And according to another report, Post Oak Motor Cars and crypto custody firm Nidig recently announced a collaboration that will enable the Houston-based auto dealer to offer vehicles financed with Bitcoin. Post Oak Motor Cars customers will now have access to a full range of Bitcoin services, including custody and lending. Additionally, the collaboration will enable the auto dealership to use its appreciated Bitcoin treasury holdings to fund future expansion, as well as enable employees to contribute a portion of their wages to Bitcoin. Post Oak Motor Cars has also announced that its new cutting-edge site in the Woodlands, Texas, will be the company's first Bitcoin-financed endeavor.
So I think it is good news for the crypto world since crypto adoption has been rising day by day and we will see more similar developments in the near future. And talking about the rising popularity and adoption of crypto, a recent report indicates that crypto has become a popular investment among Iranians, with estimates indicating that as many as 12 million people hold at least one coin. And despite the absence of adequate regulations for the majority of the crypto sector and the government's stance on the subject, an increasing number of Iranians have invested in crypto in recent months and years. Iranians' daily crypto transactions are believed to be around $181 million, with more than 88% of transactions taking place via local exchange platforms. So now coming to Elon Musk's tweet, it appears that he has highlighted the benefits of cryptos in light of the United States' increasing national debt, government spending, and a proposal to tax unrealized capital gains. Elon Musk recently shared several tweets concerning the U.S. national debt and government expenditures. He also warned against the proposal to tax unrealized capital gains, which was shelved last week over concerns about its constitutionality. Musk believes that if the idea is approved, the government will not discriminate against billionaires. They eventually run out of other people's money and then come after the citizens. Meanwhile, many agreed with Musk on the issue of government spending and the growing national debt, claiming that this is why they invested in crypto. For instance, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong replied to Musk's tweet stating the situation has gotten entirely out of hand and if authorities continue to print money to finance the debt and close the deficit, this will hasten the shift to crypto. Overall, I see this whole debate as positive for crypto, as it is highlighting that crypto is a reliable currency and it is indeed the future. However, what are your thoughts on this? What do you think about Elon Musk's comments? Let me know in the comments section below. On the other hand, Mark Cuban and the CEO of crypto trading platform Voyager have offered some tips to those considering getting started with crypto investing. In a recent interview, Cuba stated that learning about crypto does not require a large financial investment and it is not as difficult as it is in the stock market. He went on to say that it's never too late to learn and start investing in cryptos and in fact, the moment is now. Cuban also believes that crypto adoption will peak in the first part of the first quarter next year. And as we know that around 220 million individuals own crypto as of now, Cuban believes that this number will surge to a billion in four years. And in the end, Cuban shared that his 12-year-old son got him into Dogecoin when it was less than a penny, and he said to him that let's do this since it's a really inexpensive method for him to learn how this all works. So I think that Cuban's remarks clearly demonstrate the potential for crypto and crypto adoption in the future. Similarly, talking about crypto adoption, Wave Financial Group CEOs and co-founder David Seymour said that crypto adoption will accelerate in the coming years and decentralized finance, which is still in its infancy, is a significant innovation on the horizon with a lot of potential. Seymour also said that his firm makes early-stage venture capital investments in crypto startups and also provides asset and treasury management services. Besides, the company's Wave Bitcoin Income Fund is a risk-managed Bitcoin product that leverages crypto volatility to provide predictable income for investors. While the company does not own Bitcoin, it does hold it on behalf of its clients and the assets it manages. And coming back to Doge, popular crypto strategist and trader smart contractor expects Dogecoin to pull off a massive rally. In his recent tweet, he stated that Doge has formed a double-bottom pattern, indicating a possible reversal in trend, and he sees Dogecoin launching a strong surge to $1, marking potential gains of over 270% from its current value of $0.27. Cents. He also stated that Elon Musk will keep supporting Doge, and there is no way that Musk is going to let another meme coin overtake his Doge. Now with Doge trading over the $0.27 cents mark, I still think that it is in a correction phase, however, with many analysts predicting that Doge will hit the $0.50 cents mark and eventually $1, it will be interesting to see how Doge trends in the coming days. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Doge will surge from this point, especially considering Elon Musk's consistent support for Doge? Let me know in the comments section below.